Does the thought of decluttering seem like a daunting task and you don't even know where to start? I'm here to help. What I want to share with you is some one minute habits that you can incorporate right now and they're going to make a difference in the piles of clutter that you may be noticing around your home. Develop the daily one minute habit. Just set the timer on your phone for one minute. And what you wanna do is look where are the piles accumulating in your home and you wanna just pick one area today. You can pick another area tomorrow. Maybe it's a kitchen counter, maybe it's the top of your desk, maybe it's your bathroom counter, maybe it's the floor in your closet and there's a pile of clothes or the front entry where there's a pile of shoes. I guarantee if you set the timer, you could have those shoes and those coats at the front entry all hung and everything has a home in probably a minute or less. Second habit is a one in one out rule. I love this rule. I've been practicing this for many years. And so many years ago, I bought a new salad spinner. I had nowhere in my kitchen to put it. So I had to make room, something had to go. So I donated a kitchen item that I didn't really use. You could put it in the garage or another area but one in one out rule. You can't just keep accumulating things and not letting things go out of the house. Recycling, donate, consign, whatever it is. This is a game changer. If you can master this habit, it will make all the difference when you think about how many items we own in a house, which is roughly around 300,000 items. If you keep adding to those items, you're never gonna get rid of the clutter. The next habit is don't set it here for now. Oftentimes we'll just, oh, I'm just gonna put this on the counter, I'm just gonna put my sunglasses here, I'm just gonna throw my keys there. And then what happens is when you need to leave, you can't find your keys. Always have a consistent place. Put things back where they belong and deal with it now. If you can't and you're in a rush and you can't put it away right away, then make sure you do it the same day. Sort mail immediately. When I go to the mailbox, the recycling doesn't even hit our house. I'm sorting it in the car. I get out of the car. I walk through the garage. I drop the recycling in the recycling bin and the important mail makes it into the house. Another one minute habit is a quick closet check. When you open up the coat closet or a closet in your bedroom, maybe it's the linen closet or the laundry room, you could just quickly tidy something up. Don't spend hours, just take a minute and just straighten something up. The next time you open that door, it's gonna make you smile, you're gonna be motivated to maybe do another shelf or a section in that same closet. Digital declutter, one minute tip. You could go to your phone and check your photos that you took for the day and just organize those into a folder. If we let things pile up over time, it gets bigger and bigger. And the more pictures we take, the more digital clutter we have. And then it becomes a daunting task of having to organize tens of thousands of photos, delete anything that is blurry, photos that you don't need. Let's sort them into a folder. Do by themes, by year. Whatever it is, just pick a simple little folder and make sure that you organize the photos for the day. The next tip is you could restock pantry items or cleaning products. Let's say you're the last person to use the peanut butter. Why not put it on the grocery list? If you know in your back stock that you have some peanut butter, make sure you go and put the new peanut butter or if you're using like in our household, it'll be almond milk. We always have two in the fridge and when we're down to the last one, we go to the garage because that's where our back stock is. We bring it in, put it in the fridge. So there's always two there. Other family members are gonna thank you that you weren't the last person that drank all the milk or used the last of the peanut butter, whatever it is, they will definitely be thanking you and they will start to recognize that you did something for them, they will wanna do something for you. Another one minute habit is to put things back where they belong. Let's say you have some returns that you need to do. You need to tape up some boxes, put the return label on, and you needed some scissors. When you're done, put it back so the next time you need it or if someone else needs that item, it's going to be in the spot that it always is. Trust me, it's going to save you a lot of friction and frustration. Wasting time looking for something that is not in the place that it's supposed to be. 
This tip is one of my favorites. I love wiping out a shelf or two or the crisper or the vegetable drawer in my fridge before I put the groceries in the fridge. Why? Because I love a clean fridge and I never have to have that daunting task of cleaning out the whole fridge and the freezer. Is it always perfect? No, but if I see a crumb during the week or the shelf is dirty, I will just give it a quick wipe. I'm already wiping the counters, opened the fridge door to reach for something. If I can clean it in the moment, it's gonna save time over the long term. So if you see something, clean it right away, then you don't have to deal with having to clean the whole thing all at once. Evening surface sweep. If you were to just take one minute and just glance all the water bottles and the drinking glasses that you may have left, or if you were sitting on the couch watching TV and the pillows are all a mess and you were using a blanket, why not just quickly put the pillows back, fluff them up, fold the blanket so that when you you come downstairs or into your kitchen your counters are clean there's no dirty dishes in the sink whatever it is for you I like to wake up and know that I have a relatively clean kitchen and family room so then I'm like oh I gotta deal with that today but I don't have time and I'm running out the door so do an evening surface sweep and just notice what's piling up and take a moment to just put those things away toy basket. If you are a busy mom and you have kids and they're younger and they've got toys everywhere, what if you were to just have a toy basket that you went around and you just collected all the toys? Doesn't need to be organized. At least they're in a basket and they're not scattered all over the floor. Do this right before bedtime. One minute, set the timer, make it fun, play some music and make it a, a game. So if they pick up their toys three out of the five nights a week, Maybe they get a little extra check mark or a star on their chore chart, or maybe they get a treat at the end of the week if they did it for all five days. This is gonna prevent clutter from piling up all over the house because we know how many toys can get scattered all over the place and it just takes forever to clean it up. Practice wait and see for one minute. Before you go to your checkout and you hit send, in your Amazon cart or somewhere else if you're looking at buying something online or you're in a store and you're like, do I want to buy that? What if you were to just wait a moment? Maybe walk down the aisle, click another browser on your website, on your phone, go somewhere else. Just think about it for a moment. Do you really need that item? Remember, we practice a one in one out rule. If you keep bringing new stuff in, something's gotta go. So when I buy a new pair of shoes, I'm looking at what can I donate? Every single time I buy a clothing item, it doesn't go out, but that's because I'm constantly decluttering my shoe closet and my clothes closet. But if you tend to do a lot of shopping and you're bringing a lot of things and the clutter is piling up, consider just practicing. Let's just wait a moment. Then ask yourself, do I really need that kitchen gadget? Give yourself some time to think about whether you're going to buy that particular item instead of making these impulse buys. Often when you take the time to pause, it helps us to realize if we really need the item. Post your comments below. What are one or three habits that you are going to master and develop over the next 30 days? Do you have an organizing habit that you find works for you? I'd like to hear about it.